I'm Jennifer and you're watching the Corvette channel and today Scott's going to be installing some goodies on my car from Bad Boy Vets Customs. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install an alternator cover as well as valve covers from Bad Boy Vet Customs on Jennifer's C7 Corvette. So guys, all of these products that you're seeing here are from Bad Boy Vet Customs. Uh, James Williams went ahead and sent these over to us and we're gonna be able to show you how the alternator cover gets put on as well as the, uh, the valve cover covers that they did for us as well as some, uh, some cap covers that match the car almost just dead on. I would just like totally love this. Um, as you can see, um, I had done some, some basic painting of some different parts under the car here. Um, I even painted the, the covers here, but uh, you had seen a video uh, a while back um, that where I had gotten, uh, got the plenum cover, and that was from uh, American Hydrocarbon. Now, after doing this, I found out that this was actually actually made and painted by Bad Boy Vet Customs. So, um, and so they're a, they're a partner with uh, American Hydrocarbon. And so I just wanted to point that out that once we did that, we're like, well, okay, now look at the finish on this and look at my finish. I didn't, I mean, it looks good, but you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just, painted and you know it doesn't it wasn't nice and smooth per se so um james says you know what let me send you out some stuff i think you're gonna like so um so they sent us out these these new valve covers now i think this is this is going to really make this engine compartment pop um and i think it's just gonna bring everything out um as well as a alternator cover Okay, and that's the main purpose of the show today is I'm going to show you how the alternator cover gets installed. It's very simple. Um, it's just two bolts right here, and it goes right on over here um, on the thermostat. And so you, we're going to be taking this bolt right here as well as this bolt right here off, and that's pretty much it. We're just, we'll take those off, we'll be able to slide it on there, and then we'll put it back on. Now, I've decided that I wanted to go ahead and put a couple nice, cool uh, stainless bolts or uh, washers there so that the, uh, the, two screw, the two bolt heads here, when they're turning and I'm tightening them down, that they don't, they don't screw up the paint on the cover itself. Other than that, I think uh, we're, uh, we're about ready to go, we're, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into it now, and I'm going to have Jennifer hold the camera for me so we can kind of get a uh, bird's eye view of that so you'll have it, and uh, we'll go from there. So guys, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed before that I usually always have a t-shirt or I put a towel down or something like that so I'm not scratching the fender, but I never use a fender cover. One day, a couple weeks ago, this fender cover just showed up at my house with no name, no nothing of who it was from. I know I didn't order it. And so all I had to go by was the phone number that, um, of the, and the address of where it was sent from. So I called that number and found out. Uh, I said, hey, I, said, I didn't order this, but I have a PO number. Can you tell me who sent it to me? And um, they said, yeah, it was Robert Wallace. And I just wanted to say thank you, Bob. I, you know, you're part of our Corvette Club. You're one of our one of our subscribers, and it really meant a lot to me that you guys actually cared enough to send me something. And I know you were probably just tired of watching me, uh, you know, work on the car without a fender cover. But I want to tell you thank you. This thing is awesome. I totally love it. So um, anyway, just wanted to say that really quick. And uh, now we're going to get into the video. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you kind of what we're up against here. Uh, nothing hard, but I uh, just want to point it out. The two screws that we're going to be taking out are right here. This is on the on the uh, thermostat. We're going to be taking those two screws out. That's what actually is going to be holding the cover on. And then we're going to have to go ahead and we have to remove this little clip here that goes into the engine, as well as this little retaining clip that holds this 
this little bracket for these hoses. Now we won't be reusing this bracket. This is actually when the cover goes on there, you won't have access to hold to this, to the alternator like that, but it doesn't really matter because these hoses are pretty well locked in place anyhow. So it's just kind of overkill having this clip in, in the way. So um, this will just ride on top of the cover. Other than that, uh, we have to take this cover off to be able to get this one off. And that is about it. So sit back and we're gonna show you how it's done. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here, guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this cover off. It's like that, and they just pop off. They've just got little uh, push pins here. The pins are right here, and these are just little rubber, rubber caps if you've never done this before, okay? And we can go ahead and put this out of the way. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and take this connector off and there's a connection point or a press fitting at the very bottom of the base of the connector. And you're gonna be able, you'll be able to feel it. It's about a half an inch wide there, almost the whole base of it. It's spring loaded and you'll just be able to press toward you and then you lift up on it and it will release. And then you can just turn it and get it out of the way. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to be able to take a screwdriver or something to pry this out. This is just plastic, it's not a big deal. Okay, and you're just gonna pull this, this bracket out of the hole of the alternator, just like that, okay? Then at that point, we're not gonna be using this clip anymore, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna release it. And you can just press over here in the corner, this back end, and lift it up and off, okay? And we'll get that up and out of the way. Now comes the fun part, okay? so. If you can see right here, I'm gonna to point to it with my flashlight, we've got our two screws right there. Okay, we're gonna take those loose. Those are 10 millimeter. Now, I purposely left the car sit overnight so I won't have a lot of uh, uh, water pressure in here. So I'm probably gonna lose a little bit of water. Um, hopefully I don't lose anything, but you may. Now you do not wanna do this if the car is, is hot, you've just driven it, okay? Um, because that would not be a good thing. Now, hopefully I'm gonna get lucky. I'm gonna be able to take these bolts out and we don't lose any seal at all because the other bolt down at the bottom is still tight and I'm just hoping it stays nice and tight for me. And then I won't have lost any fluid at all. Now that we've got our, um, our screws out over here, I've also noticed that this wire is a little bit, gonna be a little taunt up against this wire here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this connector off and you're just gonna pull this little red tab back and then that will allow you to press down and take this off. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reroute this just a little bit. I'm gonna reroute it where it's not going above this hose, but below it, just like this. And then I can go ahead and I can snap it back in place like that and then push the locking the red locking tab back in place here it's not going to touch the the uh, belt or anything like that it's too too tight for that but it will allow for the cover to be on without making this this cord really really tight okay so now we can go ahead and we can take our bolt and our washer and we can slide this in here like so I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera and out of the light here, so bear with me as I go ahead and I go to put these screws in. Hopefully I get them lined up here. Okay, so we're just gonna get that, get, one, get that one started. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other screw here. And they'll go. You just gotta finesse them in there just a little bit. Because it is all precision fit. It fits in there really nice. As you can see there, now you can understand why we have the washer there and not just the bolt up against it because we don't want to scratch that paint. Okay, and we're just tightening this all down. I'll get my wrench out. Right, and we 
got the bolts tight now. Okay, and then at that point we can go ahead and we can put our little our little clip back on here, our little connector back on. Make sure that's snapped in place, and we are good. So that part is handled. Okay, besides having to wipe everything down here, we'll have to wipe this down here in a little bit to get rid of the the marks from the clip. But you can see this is not going anywhere at all. It's it's in there nice and tight, and yet it's up above the alternator, so you're not going to get any vibration or anything like that. Okay, so all right. So now comes one of the other, the more of the fun part here, which is putting our new cover on. So you can see here before we go do it, you've got the two little lips right here, these little two little tongues. They actually go into two slots right here up on the lower valve cover. So they just slide in and then they snap on. Now, one thing I want to point out to you guys, you want to make darn sure that you put these in those slots. If you don't, what's going to end up happening is that the valve cover will sit up just a little high on this side and the top of the hood, or the bottom of the hood I should say, the liner, will actually ever so lightly start rubbing this and it's going to take all the paint off. Okay, so you want to make darn sure that you get these in place. Okay, so, so you can see here, it's really easy. What I did, I just slid it in, and then I lift up on the bottom here to make sure that they're in. If if they're not in there, it's just going to lift up, so no big deal, right? And then at that point, just press down, and there we go. So that one is done. Now all we have to do is take the other one off and put the other one on. Okay, so now we're on the driver's side. We're just going to go ahead and lift up here. We just grab the edge. We can use your fingers and just lift this up, just like that. Lift it up and off. Take our new one. Remember what I was saying about the tongues. Just make sure you get it locked in place. Just like that. Press down. And you're good. So now we're down to the caps. Um, and you can see there, yeah, these look pretty darn cool, I think. So these are, there's a couple different ways of doing this. Um, some, the way they come is they're intended to have, they come with Velcro on them. And you would just put the Velcro on the cap that they're going to go on to and there you're good to go, right? And if you need to take them off, you can. Now some people, uh, a lot of the guys that are doing it on the car, in the car shows, they just set them on, right? And then when they're done with the car show, they take them back off. And that way they're not always having to clean in here. And I kind of like that idea actually. So anyway, uh, but they are keyed. Most of them are keyed to exactly what you've got. Let me see here. You can see right here that this particular one is a slot. It's made for the oil reservoir. So it would just go like right here. Just like that. Okay. The other one, this one is one more for a bigger cap for the radiator cap itself. So you could set that one on there like that. Okay. But each one of them has their their different depths. You can see that one's a very smaller smaller one. That one will go over on the brake reservoir. So um, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to put them on. I'm just going to set them in place because that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this way I'm not always having to clean it. Like I told you guys, I do most... Jenny does the driving <laughs> and I do all the cleaning. So if I don't have to clean these things, I'm not going to. So I'm just going to set them on there and show you what it looks like. And then that way, when we go to the car shows, we can just put them on, okay? So I'm just gonna put, start putting these on. So just goes there like so. And we're just gonna, let's see here. Uh, that one's probably gonna go right there. And this one can go right there. That one goes right there and this one goes right there. So there you have it. I think it looks great. I mean, the paint match on the alternator cover couldn't be any better. The, the valve covers, they just brighten it up. And then you've got the, the cap covers that just, they just, they just finish it off. It just really looks good. Um, so like I said, um, I think it looks great. I'm gonna have to ask Jennifer what she thinks about it. So what do you think of this, Jen? I think it's beautiful. I love all the colors. I love how bright it is. I it's just a phenomenal job. Thank you so much. 
I want to thank James and Jennifer at Bad Boy Vet Customs for setting me up and making my engine look awesome. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.